Hey everyone, we are in the garden today and we are having a look at earwigs and dahlias. When it gets to this time of year, my dahlias just start to flower in mid-July. And before long, I'll start to see eaten parts of the leaves and eaten petals, which is a bit soul destroying when we've been growing our dahlias for so long since the spring, potting them up in our pots and then planting them out, getting them well watered and getting them to the stage. So earwigs are not good for dahlias and we need to remove them and get them to another area of the garden. So what I'm going to show you today is an easy trick that I have for capturing the earwigs. Earwigs are really easily identifiable because they are little insects, crawling insects, that have quite good sized pincers on the ends of them. Um, so they're easy to spot on your dahlia leaves and they tend to be quite nocturnal. They'll come out and they will nibble your dahlia petals and leaves at night time and then they'll look for a place to hide in the daytime. So what we're going to do is we're going to provide a nice nest for them to crawl into during the day. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some garden canes, you're going to need some flower pots, they don't need to be large flower pots, just about this size is absolutely fine, and you're going to need something to put in them. So that can be shredded paper like this that has come in packaging from something we got delivered to the house, or it can be straw or pet bedding that you use, um, it could be hay, whatever you have around that is going to be a nice substance to go into those flower pots and for the earwigs to crawl into. And it's really just very simple. You're going to take your flower pot here, like this, and you are going to just put your straw in it like that. And we're going to place our cane into the bed, anywhere along the dahlias will do fine. Now these aren't big canes, um, they're just going to be about the height of the dahlia so that the earwigs can easily crawl into the pots. You don't want really high eight foot canes which are nowhere near your dahlias and your earwigs might not crawl up there. And you basically just take your straw filled pot like that and upturn it on top of your cane. And your earwigs will come along in the daytime and crawl in there as a place to hide. And then a couple of times a day in the morning and in the evening I'll come along and I will check my pots and I'll take them to another area of the garden where I can release the earwigs where they're not going to cause too much damage. And we'll come back tomorrow and have a look and see if we've got any. So we're back in the flower patch this morning and we're going to have a look and see if any of our earwig traps have worked. So I've got Anna and Erin with me today and we're going to lift up our plant pots and take out the straw and have a look and see if there's any earwigs underneath. Right Erin and Anna, we're going to have a look and see if we can find some earwigs. Erin, do you want to go and move the trap off the cane? And we've got a box here that we can tip it into and see if we can find any earwigs. You can pull the straw out if you want. Ah, we've, oh, an we've got an earwig there, a little tiny one. Rolling in there, that was a good find. Let's see if we can get it to come out the straw because we'll want to put the straw back in the pot for tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> right, so we've got our earwig into our box here and we can move that to another area of the garden. Erin, you're going to put the straw back into the pot and put it back on the cane so we can collect more earwigs for another day. Will we have a look at another one? Mm -hmm. You can grab that underneath, remember, so you don't lose the earwigs. And then let's shake it out over there. Can you take the straw out? What have we got in there? Have we got any in there? We might not have some. Oh, yeah, there's another one. I can see um I think there was two in that one because there seems to be another earwig in the pot. There's three ear there's two earwigs in the pot now. Oh I found two earwigs! So Kirsten, Anna and Erin have taken the pots off of the canes and they are searching through the straw to find any more earwigs. And most pots do seem to have one or two earwigs in them already and that's just overnight from putting them out for the first time. So you can see that there's a large number of earwigs that are crawling around the dahlia patch ready to munch on those dahlia petals every day. Whoa, there's loads in there, tip them out. Four. Oh, so many earwigs. Oh, I found one. Oh, here's an earwig. Yeah, this one's escaping. Oh, I got it out. So the girls have found all these earwigs so far from just a few upturned pots. 
So you can see it's oh, a really they're... easy way of catching them and then you can just let them free in another area of the garden where they're not going to do so much damage. The girls are just emptying out the tub on some nice long grass at the bottom of the garden where the earwigs will be quite happy and find a new home. The girls are just putting the pots back on now in the dahlia patch. They're filled up with the straw again and empty of earwigs and that will mean that the earwigs will crawl back into them again today and we'll have a look tomorrow and empty them again. It's a really easy way of making sure that your dahlia plants and the flowers are protected and also means that you don't have to kill any earwigs either with any chemicals or pesticides. <laughs>